do-it-yourself hydroponics. What's wrong here? Hey, I hope you all doing all right today. And we're going to be doing something that I think every one of you out there can do. And right now, you're probably not thinking about growing any of your own food because it's going to be record heat in lots of parts of the country here in the U.S. Uh, triple digit record heat. It's just crazy. We're only in June. We're not even into our real hot summer months yet. So I know a lot of you aren't even thinking about gardening. So I want to show you something that's easy, it's cheap and easy, and it's something you can do indoors. We're going to do it right here. It's, it's indoors. This is in the garage. We don't have any windows in this garage, so there's no light. There's no natural sunlight coming in. So the only light is going to be from these grow lights, or we've got some fluorescent lights that are on in the shop, you know, when we don't have all the, the camera lights and that on. Um, so all of you out there will be able to do this if you've got some little corner in your house this rack is only 36 inches by 18 inches if you got room to set one of these up somewhere you've got some room to grow some of your own food now you probably have milk chicks too everyone has you know something like this whether it's regular milk this is from almond breeze we drink a lot of almond milk um but if you guys are out there and you've got some kind of jugs you can use go ahead and grab those and we're going to be growing some seashell which is just a an asian plant and they put it in sushi uh, they eat a lot in Asian countries. I haven't seen them much around here, and we usually grow ours from seed. This one, I was surprised to find one in, this one was actually in Lowe's. And it's not like the variety you've seen us grow on the show before, where it's like, if you flip the leaf over, it was like a bright purple, and on top was green. It looked really cool. This is just plain green, um, a more simple variety. But we're going to go ahead and uh, transplant these into these containers. I went ahead and filled all of them up with Master Blend, and we're going to do a little experiment with this too. We're going to plant these out, and then I'm just going to set them up on the top shelf here. We've got a couple of basil still going. I took the rest of the basil out to the garden. I might even have to move those to give us a little room, but I've got one grow light way up there. Um, what we're going to do is I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. If you guys have ever used these, I've used them before, and you get a little algae. They're, they're pretty thin. Uh, food grade containers unless it's something you know that they think is going to you know deteriorate in light They usually you know don't take into consideration that it has to block out all the light So these things are you know just good enough to put some milk in drink some milk and that's it um, So when you grow in them By the time I go to harvest like these up here There's a little bit of algae in it and I don't have any problem with that. It doesn't affect the growth um, We're not sitting here and growing for six months in it uh, but if you plan on trying to grow a little longer and keep refilling them uh, and you're worried about the algae, you might want to try this. If you notice, this one in the middle looks a little bit different, right? One of these things doesn't belong. So this one we took and we coated it. I'll show you real quick. It was not prepared. We coated it with a few coats. This is Plasti Dip. It's like a rubberized coating and that one's black. And then we went over it with a couple coats of white. So all I did was get a broomstick and flip this up on top of the broomstick and put a glove on so you don't spray paint your hand and just sprayed a couple coats on, let it dry um, in between coats. And that's what we did. So we're gonna bring in the camera and let's go ahead and take a look inside of these. You know, we don't need the caps. I have the caps on because I filled these up in the garden. I went and made a five gallon bucket of nutrients and dipped these in. So all of these are full. We don't need these little pink caps on them. And I'll bring you in and we're gonna take a look inside and see what a difference a couple coats of paint makes. And then we're gonna grow out the same plant and both of them in the same area. And we'll come back in a couple of weeks or maybe a month and then we'll take a look inside and see if this couple of coats of paint, this rubberized stuff, this plastic dip, actually help control the algae or not. Alrighty, come on in here. All right, we can see these. This is the one with the paint, the plastic dip, and you can clearly see that it's a little bit different. These actually look a little, you can see it looks a little yellow tint there, and that's the nutrients inside. You know, the um, master blend tends to be a little yellow. So you can tell, you can see those. So just looking at it right here, you can already see, you know, that this one doesn't look yellow compared to the other ones. But let's go ahead and look inside. Let's go ahead and look in one of these. 
I'll put my hand on it to try and block some of the light. Maybe I can get this right on top of it. So it might not focus, but you're going to be able to see that it looks yellow. You can see the light, right? Let's go ahead and do this one. Set it right on top. See that? Dark, right? All right, so you can see the difference between that and that. All right, so now you've seen how dark it is with this. With just a few coats, you could actually go a little darker and just completely black it out. But we're just going to go with this for now. These are ready to go. Let's go ahead and wash off the roots here. All we're going to do is take these, wash off the roots a little bit. Uh, remember this cracky system, there's no pumps and everything that's going to get clogged up. So you don't have to worry about trying to get every little bit out. You know, it's the, the less you have to mess with the roots, the better. So just rinse most of them off. We're going to put them in there. And we're just going to hold them in place real gentle we'll just cut a little piece of a pool noodle you might have to cut it into a funky shape to fit into this little spot but we're just going to use this small hole right here we're not even going to cut you've seen like in my old videos i actually cut a two inch hole in there and that was so that i could set a net cup inside of it now all this basil that we grew we just used it like this so it's nice and simple anyone can do this you don't have to go buy a fancy hole saw you don't have to buy anything you just use this so you're going to need some nutrients and a plant um, and we're going to take these plants i'm going to cut these pool noodles just so that they hold these we're not going to squash them remember that they just hold them in place and we're going to put them in there nice and gentle set them up on the shelf and we're just going to leave them we're probably not even going to mess with them for three weeks maybe a month and i'm going to leave them up there and i've got to go out of town i got to go out uh, out of town like i said i'm going to be on a road and i'm going to be you know gone for a week so uh i'll be probably doing a couple more reaction videos uh, i know it's a little something different for y'all but uh that's something i can do on the road when i'm away from my garden and still get some videos and keep in touch with y'all and also i think it's a little important you know that we look at these because you guys i know you don't watch just my channel you watch a whole lot of other channels you know besides like cooking and and adventure and and cat videos and other things like that so i know you you know we all watch a bunch of different channels and when I first started researching, before I even knew what the crack key system was, and I was looking up hydroponics, I was looking up gardening, the square foot garden, um, uh, the mint lighter, uh, all uh, biointensive farming. You know, I, I was researching all kinds of stuff to grow. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos, and from all of that, if you guys watch the way I grow, you're going to see little bits and pieces from different things. I took things that fit for me. Um, if we were growing microgreens, you know, I saw Marty from Marty's Garden, you know, I started watching him growing microgreens. And then I saw biointensive farming where they like put a bunch of seedlings together really close and then they thinned them out, took them when they were like microgreens, which they didn't call it that back then. And they were taking them and then they transplanted them into, you know, another container. And they kept doing that until they got like the best of the best of the best plants and that's how i started using microgreens except instead of moving them and moving them into other bits of soil i just took them out of the microgreens and planted them in here and just left it uh so you know i saw that i saw dr cracky i saw larry hall and the rain gutter grow system so i saw all these different things and that's where i got a whole lot of these ideas from so i think that's important that we still go out there and look and keep an open mind you know i don't want to come in here and say this is the only way to do it don't watch anyone else you know don't think about anything just do this i think it's always good to have an open mind the, the one of the funnest things i saw was the window farms and it was like an open source thing where people uh put out plans uh, as far as like growing some plants they, they took some pop containers and turned them upside down and and we're growing plants in their windows for like people that don't have balconies and people that don't have a yard and they were saying to do it here's what we thought and everybody tests different things and will share it and 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 that was a pretty pretty cool little experiment so i think it's fun for all of us to look at things keep an open mind experiment 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 and share it with others and that way not everything fits for all of us there's no one size fits all right then you can find something that works well for you i'll use what works well for me and you know we'll all share and we'll all grow right so that's that's cool so that's why i'm i'm sharing some of these uh reaction videos is because i watch those videos and i want to go ahead and, and just share them with you you guys tell me what you think down in the comments when i do them and we'll just get uh keep growing from there all right 
Let's go and plant these out. We're just gonna take these now, set them up here, turn these lights on, and just set it and forget it. Um, I want you to see this one right here, the one that we're gonna be watching, keeping an eye on. I didn't put the smallest one, and I didn't put the largest one in there. This one's just kind of medium, so you know we don't put like the biggest one in here and go, oh, it grew better. So I put the biggest one in a regular one over here. This one's just kind of medium size and we've got two or three right here that are about the same size so we're going to keep an eye on them and see how they turn out plus besides the growth up here what we're actually worried about is when we're done we're going to go ahead and open these up maybe we'll just cut them open or try and peek in there with a the camera and we'll see how the algae did compare uh, one to the other here all righty you guys get out there this is something everyone can do i know it's hot i feel for y'all it, it's muggy down here in florida we're not getting triple digit uh, heat wave like y'all. Um, like I said, I feel for you, but uh, don't give up. You can always grow stuff in, indoors if you can't grow it outdoors. And we'll just get ready for fall, right? All right, get out there. Share this with everyone. We're trying to teach the world how to grow. So thank you to all of you that's been out there sharing with everyone. You guys are the ones that make the world go round. And I really love you. So don't forget, live to inspire. Keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time.